Well, I keep on saying that every day we keep finding more and more that we realize we really don't know what we think we do know. All right, so get this. Uh, this is out of the sciencealert.com. For you people living in the Northeast, how about this? So it comes from data that has been collected for quite a while. I'll actually take you to the website where this is uh, data is actually being um, collected from. So here's the thing. There is an enormous blob upwelling underneath Vermont, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts. And while we're at it, possibly elsewhere. This article is filled with, um, how shall we say, more twists and turns than uh, Lombardi Street in San Francisco. So here's the deal, folks, for you folks living in the Northeast specifically. But listen, there's a lot of stuff happening under the ground. So they use a network of thousands of seismic measurement devices in the largest geological study of its kind, detecting an enormous blob. How do you like that? This is scientists, and this is what they give us is the word blob, upwelling under Vermont, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts. So they detected it like a hot air balloon, and apparently it's coming through the deeper part of our planet under New England. Now, this gets a little weird. So here's the depiction. Of course, I've never seen what under the earth looks like, so we'll just take this that, that this is the case. So here it is, this upwelling. Now, the article goes on, and I'll leave the link, goes on to say that, well, you know, there's nothing here to be concerned about. This is going to take ten, takes millions of years uh, for it to get where it's going. How do they know that? Because here's the real interesting thing. They're trying to figure out what's going on because even by their own statement, this is where you get the jibber-jabber. Buried in two years of data, the team zeroed in on New England, having previously identified a thermal anomaly that was hundreds of degrees Celsius hotter than its surrounding in the upper mantle, about 200 kilometers, or uh, you know, basically about 125 miles down below the surface, and measuring approximately 250 miles in diameter. Now, to give you an idea of what we're dealing with, the International Space Station is 250 miles up in our atmosphere. So figure half the distance of where that space station is and now go into the Earth. Yeah, it gets really weird. It says it's a very large and relatively stable region, but we found an irregular pattern with rather abrupt changes in it. All right, they just told us that this will take millions of years. But on the other hand, they also said, well, you know, we kind of saw this anomaly, and well, it ain't supposed to be doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's changing. It ain't supposed to be changing this fast. Yeah, well, anyway, so you can go on to see, folks, the rest of this article. Listen, I think this is here, the, the, the deal. We've got activity happening in the Northwest. We've got activity happening in the Yellowstone area. We apparently got activity now happening uh, in the Midwest and now the Northeast. Maybe we don't know quite all that we think we know. And who knows where this is going to lead. Uh, anyway, by the way, here is this other website that they made mention to. I have not checked it out, but apparently uh, it is another uh, tool uh, for tracking um, that which goes beneath our feet. All right, folks, a heads up on this one. You never know what is going on 
And boy, the more we find out what's going on, we're realizing and asking ourselves, what's going on?